You ever have a movie that you, you really loved, that you watched for years and years and years since you were a kid, and it's not until you're an adult that you find out nobody else liked it? That's how I feel about today's movie. <coughs> Die Hard 2. Die Harder. Uh, you've, if you've watched my videos, you've seen this before. I did a, a review of uh, the terrible fifth movie. Uh, this is the Nakatomi Plaza set with the movies in a little trap door in the back. And uh, my daughter and I started marathoning the movies at Christmas because we always watch Die Hard at Christmas. I don't care what Bruce Willis says, Christmas. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Um, Die Hard 2 is, is, you know, if this is Die Hard 1 at the top of the action movie franchise, uh, or not franchise, the, the genre, and it is, this is Die Hard 2, in my opinion. It is nearly as good, very, very close to being as good. And if you flipped it and this one came first, I don't know if I wouldn't be saying that this one is the better one. I mean, maybe what makes Die Hard... No, I take that back, because the villain in this movie uh, is no Hans Gruber. But, um... But Colonel Stewart is actually still a pretty great villain, in my opinion. Uh, underrated. Very underrated. William Sadler just giving his, his psycho stare. You know, I mean, he's got those blue eyes that don't blink. And... Uh, Die Hard 2 finds Bruce Willis two years after Nakatomi, now happily married to Holly, uh, briefly, as it turns out, uh, waiting to pick her up from Dulles Airport in Washington, and just so happens to be there in time for another terrorist attack. And, you know, that's played up a lot. How can the same shit happen to the same guy twice? And I think a lot, a lot of the criticism for the movie is that it's repetitive, that it's just the first movie again, which I don't understand because everybody, as it turns out, I, I was unaware of this too, seems to really love the third movie. The third movie is another Gruber. I mean, if you're going to talk about like repetition, I feel like the third movie in a lot of ways is more repetitive. Um, Die Hard 2 has amazing action. It's got Bruce Willis still really giving a shit playing John McClane. Bruce Willis sort of at the height of his powers as an actor. I mean, you know, this is him entering the 90s. In the 90s, I mean, let's face it, that was sort of the last time that Bruce Willis was consistently trying. I don't know what happened. Maybe he... He tried to make the, the move to drama and comedy, and that never really went well for him. Um, maybe he became embittered by that. Maybe he became embittered making shitty, diehard ripoffs like Striking Distance, um, Last Boy Scout. But um, Die Hard 2 is not a shitty, diehard ripoff. Die Hard 2 is every bit... The, the sequel to a masterpiece that it should be. And in, in what it does, in my opinion, becomes a masterpiece itself. This is how action movies should be made. You've got real stakes that happen halfway through the movie. The stakes are really raised by a, a tragedy that takes place. That is not played for laughs. It's not played for just action fun. It's a real tragedy that 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 um, that takes the movie to a very dark place, and you really get the feel that this is this is uh, an event that could happen. I mean, there's the big. Maybe the big set piece, I guess, in the movie is is Bruce Willis ejecting from an exploding plane. 
And maybe that's the moment you could say, oh, well, the movie goes over the top. I don't think that's any more over the top than Ju Bruce Willis jumping off of Nakatomi Plaza with a with a fire hose tied around his waist uh, in, a, in a move that, by the way, would have snapped his spine the second that he uh, went taut. Uh, that's why I don't really understand. Now, I will agree with Die Hard 5 being... The, the 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 stunts, the the action set pieces, they become cartoonish. You start to roll your eyes. And I get how some people would feel that way also about Live Free or Die Hard, which I, I can definitely see doing a review of that sometime soon because I think that that is an underrated movie. I think that is Bruce Willis still trying. I, 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 I get the sense that that still is John McClane. Uh, which I don't in a good day to die hard, but I don't want to. I don't want to go off. I, I could talk about that movie for hours. Um, die Hard Two is a dirty, bloody, filthy, as far as its language, '90s action movie that delivers in all of the thrills and and. Uh, spectacular action that, that you expect from these kind of movies. To me, it is the only one of the Die Hard sequels that comes anywhere near being as good as the first. And I don't understand why not, why more people don't really enjoy it. I, I, I guess it's one of those things where maybe it's just my particular taste or it's my particular, uh, uh, affection for the movie maybe i've got nostalgia glasses on because i've been watching this movie since i was 10 um to me it's it goes right along with die hard one as a christmas classic this one has snow and um i think the twist at the towards the in the third act is a great twist it's probably the best twist in any of the die hard movies and there's, again, I don't get it. I don't get why more people don't enjoy this movie. It, it's got everything that you'd want out of a Die Hard, including a Bruce Willis that still really cares about this character and is really doing his best. I mean, Bruce Willis, I, I have this um, Entertainment Weekly, like 20 years ago, did this special edition, which I have in a hardback version uh, the 100 Greatest Movie Stars of All Time. Some of whom would definitely not make the cut if they were to revise it for today. And one of those people being Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, they said, this guy could be our next Bogart. And I think he could have been. And he just, he made so many poor decisions in the 90s and early 2000s. And I think he just got to the point where he stopped caring He's rich. He's rich. He's not getting the parts that he wants. Occasionally, you'll see him wake up and be in something like Moonrise Kingdom or Looper, and actually try. But one of the reasons I totally believe Kevin Smith about about working with Bruce Willis is you can see it. It is it is palpable his disinterest in these movies. So. If you want to see the guy who could have been the next Bogart in his prime, Die Hard 2 is absolutely the movie to check out. Five out of five stars. One of the greatest action movies ever made. I cannot recommend it enough. It is the perfect companion to Die Hard 1. I have a hard time not watching two of them back to back. Spectacular movie. Go out and check it out. If you've not seen it, don't listen to the haters. It, it's a very good movie.